The brief statement signed by Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe indicated that the 66-year-old male Kenyan citizen passed on Thursday afternoon, having been admitted at the Aga Khan Hospital Intensive Care Unit. The man had been suffering from diabetes and had arrived from South Africa via Swaziland on March the 13th. Current status of corona disease. Earlier in the day, the Ministry of Health had confirmed three more coronavirus cases, hitting 31 up from 28 Tuesday. These 31 confirmed cases are spread out in five counties, namely Nairobi, Kajiado, Mombasa, Kilifi and Kwale. All the three new confirmed cases are Kenyans, females aged between 30 years and 61 years. The three cases are close contacts of previously confirmed cases. Two are from Kilifi and one from Nairobi. One patient whose recovery was announced on Wednesday by President Kenyatta has since been released. The patient was who was released is uh, case number two, who had been admitted at Mbagadi Isolation unit and we follow the WHO approved protocols uh, which require that we do serial tests until we have two consecutive negative tests and therefore the patient met that criteria after having two negative tests. According to the ministry 123 suspected patients have been discharged after a 14-day follow-up with 906 being monitored by contact tracing teams. Ministry of Health officials have faulted Kakamega Governor Weekly for Paranya for reporting on a new case of the COVID-19 at county level, saying any such communication should only come from one central reporting system. Yes, we have had reports that the Governor of Kakamega indicated that they have reported a positive case. The case that was reported by the Governor is actually a case that is currently admit, admitted at um, Bagadia Isolation Center. And the fact that this gentleman comes from Kakamega County, I think that is why Kakamega decided to report. But we want to appeal to the county governments that, that we have one central reporting system so that we are consistent throughout our reporting in line with WHO requirements. The ministry's stance comes at a time when Kenyans are bracing for a dusk to dawn curfew that kicks in on Friday evening. Calibra Temo, K24 Evening Edition.